In today's video, all about the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. I haven't covered this vaccine earlier as this vaccine is not available in my part of the world. However, I decided to take the plunge anyways so that it could help you and provide you with some value. While researching data for this vaccine, I came across a couple of things which made me blink an eye. Please treat this video as general information to help you make an informed decision. The first thing I learned while reading up on this vaccine is that outside the United States, this vaccine has been rechristened and been named Comirnaty. Comirnaty is essentially a mashup of words including community, immunity, mRNA and COVID. Let me know down there in the comments why you feel that Pfizer has renamed this vaccine. In this video, I am going to tell you who should take caution before taking this vaccine. What are the expected side effects? Also the not so pleasant ones and the ingredients of the Pfizer vaccine. For this, I have referred to the fact sheet and safety data sheet provided by Pfizer themselves. I have left a downloadable link in the description to these documents. First and foremost, I would like to start out with a statement on the Pfizer website and I quote, The Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has not been approved or licensed by the US Food and Drug Administration, but has been authorized for emergency use by the FDA under an emergency use authorization to prevent coronavirus disease, COVID-19, for use in individuals 12 years of age and older. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine or Comirnaty vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. The SARS-CoV-2 attaches to ACE2 receptors in the cells of our body with the help of a spike protein on its surface. Thereafter, it gains entry into our cells and infects them. When you receive an mRNA vaccine such as the Pfizer or Comirnaty as it is now called, some of the cells will read the mRNA instructions and temporarily produce the spike protein. The immune system will then recognize the spike protein as foreign and produce antibodies and activate white blood cells to attack it and thereby lead to vaccine-induced immunity. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine will be given to you as an injection into the muscle, most commonly in the deltoid region, in two doses. According to Pfizer, the doses are to be administered three weeks apart. However, as of filming this video, it has been found that a gap of eight weeks seems to be the sweet spot for good antibody response especially effective against the Delta variant. I do not know why Pfizer hasn't updated this data on their fact sheet. Be careful while taking the vaccine and inform your vaccinator if you have any of the following conditions. Have allergies, have had myocarditis or pericarditis, have a fever, have a bleeding disorder or are on blood thinners, are immunocompromised or are on medicines that affect your immune system, are pregnant or plan to get pregnant are breastfeeding, have received another COVID-19 vaccine, have ever fainted in association with an injection. Do not take this vaccine if you have had an allergic reaction to the first dose of the vaccine or have a known allergy to the ingredients of the vaccine. Before we get to the ingredients of the vaccine, let us have a look at the side effects of the Pfizer or Comirnaty vaccine, one of which I find especially troubling, though rare. The commonest and most dangerous side effect is that of an anaphylactic shock. This is a severe allergic response, which is a medical emergency. The first signs of anaphylactic shock include difficulty breathing, swelling in your face and throat, a fast heartbeat, a bad rash all over your body, dizziness and weakness. As soon as you get the vaccine, your vaccinator will have you stay at the vaccination center for some time to monitor for this. The other side effect which troubles me is that in the fact sheet, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine has got myocarditis and pericarditis listed as a side effect. Albeit rare, I have probably given out information until now on this channel of around 4 or 5 vaccines, none of which had side effects of pericarditis or myocarditis listed in the sheet. To watch out for this type of inflammation, keep an eye out if you have chest pain, shortness of breath, feelings of having fast beating, fluttering or pounding heart. My personal advice is if you get the Pfizer vaccine or Comirnaty vaccine, abstain from rigorous exercises for a few days as this could increase the chances of myocarditis. The other side effects are similar to any other vaccine and are transient and pass off spontaneously in a few days. Some people get the side effects and some don't. Just listing them here for you to glance at them. Not everyone gets these side effects, but if you do get them, contact a healthcare provider or emergency services. Coming to the ingredients of the Pfizer vaccine itself. Besides the mRNA, of course, it also has got its usual fare of salts and sugars. I'm just listing it here for a few seconds so that you can screenshot it for your convenience. 
So should you take the Pfizer vaccine? Well, that's a very personal choice. Through this video, I just want to put out the information to you which is officially available from Pfizer and I hope that I provided you with some value. To check out my overview on the other vaccines, click here. If you are a little bit of a skeptic like me, click the video below that. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.